Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today is a case study. Now I did a case study on Billie Eilish a long time ago now so I will link that up here if you want to check that out after this one. Today I'm going to talk about Harry Styles and his progression and where I think he's going to go from here. I think I'm going to do more case studies. So if there is anyone you want me to do a case study on, which is basically where I talk about their brand, their visuals, that kind of thing, um, then let me know in the comments. I do make videos regularly on branding, visuals, social media for independent music artists or small labels who are looking for some help in this area or these areas. So if that is useful to you, then please like and subscribe. Okay, let's dive right in. So my initial thoughts on Harry Styles' branding is that it's not actually overly complicated or considerably deep. Obviously he is a mainstream pop artist, so I think that is very telling for that. He's appealing to a lot of people. But I also feel he's still in the early stages. He broke out from One Direction and we saw a definite change, but the change from his first to second album was quite considerable as well. So I feel like we're still in these like early stages of what he's gonna do and I'm interested to see where he's gonna go from here and I feel like his fashion styling is way ahead of the rest of it. So, hmm, interesting one. So overall I would say he's very contemporary with retro influences, like strong retro influences. Keywords that come to mind, so I have talked about keywords if you're um, interested in doing your own keywords for you as an artist then this video is up here. Um, so my keywords I would say for Harry Styles, sophisticated, eclectic, elegant, glam, clean and retro. So those are the words that come to mind when I see like his overall vision, um, his overall aesthetic. So first things to note that I notice about his visuals is the camera angles. So when I say in other, I keep mentioning other videos, I'm sorry, there's just so many now. Um, when I say play with camera angles, it's this is a good example, right? Obviously he's very high-end, but you can still play. Um, his camera angles are just super interesting. He uses like a lot of fisheye or like this up from the bottom, excuse my technical terms, kind of unusual camera angles. And that's become quite a prominent thing throughout the second album era. So I'm interested to see whether he carries on with that. Also, as I mentioned a second ago, his fashion style, this to me is the most dominant part of his brand and the thing that he has nailed already. And I think the other elements will then catch up. He does work with a long-term stylist. So I think that is probably, that's a good collaboration there. They've found each other at the right time. I think he's also named Harry, which is quite fun. Um, so yeah, his, he's really defined his fashion style, it's very consistent, it pushes the gender boundaries, very high-end, very glam, but with these retro influences, sophisticated again. So yeah, I think he's really got that down, and I think that and the camera angles are the ultimate things I first notice when I look at all his visuals. And then the other thing I noticed that isn't quite as obvious, but still there, is he's quite, he's very private and a little bit secretive. So he doesn't post a lot on social media. And I think it's very different when you're an established artist from when you're starting out when you're a very small artist. Because when you're a big artist, you can get away with, if you don't want to do social media, you don't have to, or you can be very minimal with it and that becomes part of your brand or your authentic world. So it's a tricky one because I know there are probably smaller artists out there who want to do that, but when you're trying to get off the ground and actually you need people to notice you, it's really difficult to have that as a part of your brand. But he definitely has that. He posts very minimally. He's very selective with interviews he does. So that to me, those three things are the things that strike me initially. Fashion style, camera angles, and privacy slash secretive. Um, I think that goes into his values as well, private, secretive, and also kind and caring. I think that's something that's come through right from the One Direction days. I think that's always circulated that he's a kind person. And I think through his songs, obviously his solo songs, that has come through as well. So that is definitely a value that sticks out for me. So in terms of videos, obviously he does have super high-end polished videos. He probably has the best team around, but there is still that transition from if you watch, and I'm gonna post a playlist below that I found that someone else made that is very handy. It's all his videos in order of release. And you can see from Sign of the Times, it's those kind of videos that from the album are very cinematic, you can see the transition from his One Direction style and aesthetic to that, whereas the next album is much more him, I would say, and where he's finding his feet with what he wants to do creatively. So there's a lot more, they're a lot more in-depth, a lot more innovative, the second lot of videos. 
Um, so have a look at that playlist if that is interesting to you. And I think towards the end, so I think it's the Kiwi video, which is on the first album, the song is on the first album, but you can see his style start to come through. And you, so you can see that transition literally from one direction to the present day throughout all those videos, which is really cool. Um, again, so it's interesting to see where he's gonna take it from here. I do think he'll go bigger and more creative and more in line with his, his fashion style. I think it will just get bigger and more, which I think everyone needs to do. Always be bigger and more you. Um, but yeah, I think he'll definitely go further away from that One Direction styling. I don't think he'll ever go back to that kind of more safe cinematic kind of vibe, I would say. So in the newer videos, he definitely plays with like this classical kind of aesthetic. There's a definite high-end classical kind of vibes coming through, but he always puts, and I think this is interesting, and I don't know whether he's behind this or whether it's his team or his stylist, there's def there's always this really fresh current take on either classical aesthetics or retro um, like fashion styling. It's always really current and really fresh. So I think that's definitely his twist. I think I've talked about contrasts before. Contrasts always work super well. So obviously if you do them well. So uh, his that contrast is his and I think he will continue to run with that um, further. And I think his story is obviously a strong one as well. I think although he's private and selective now about the work he does. We all know, we always, we all saw him, or in the UK, on X Factor, and then we've seen that growth through obviously the biggest boy band ever, to his solo stuff, to his coming out and finding his fashion style. I think that is his story and everyone's been fully invested in that from the beginning. And I think even people like, I wasn't a One Direction fan, I, that was, they were not my boy band, it wasn't my time. But him as a solo artist, I really like, and I've liked, I like his songs more and more as they progress. Um, I like the videos more and more as they progress. So I'm just really excited to see where he'll go. So yeah, I think he would have definitely picked up, I think the One Direction fans would have stayed with him for sure, but I think he definitely would have picked up this kind of more mature, um, maybe older audience as well. Like no disrespect to anyone older who loves One Direction, because that is fine. Um, but I think he would definitely have reached a new demographic as well as keeping the old ones who would have grown with him. So it's really nice. It's a nice, it's a nice story, isn't it, guys? So I think you can have a complex, br complex brand based around one simple element, or you can very simply implement something distinctive. And I think that's what Harry's done at this time. He's he's got a very distinctive fashion style, and he's just. That is very a very simple part of his brand. So yeah, I think there's definitely room for growth, obviously, in terms of like videos and just the aesthetic overall. I think there's still some defining that can be done and we've seen that growth. Um, but yeah, it, it's an interesting one. Let me know, let me know what you think in the comments and where you think he's gonna go from here, etc. I think he can definitely push more boundaries with this as well. I think he just needs to go bigger and just define his aesthetic more, I guess. Um, so yeah, a good one. Um, no hate to him. If you are hateful to him, you will be blocked because there is only room for love here. But yeah, let me know if you want me to do a case study on anyone else. Let me know your thoughts on Harry Styles and his visuals. And I hope this was interesting. See you next time. Bye.